job is the wardrobe in the bedroom. It's a bigger scale of it. Uh, I said I was going to do that next, so uh, cut all the pieces out. They're all there, ready to be gone. I've kept the little pieces. I'm not quite to put knobs on it or handles yet. I'm not quite sure what to do. So what's the best? I think the handles would be better. So the next thing, I've got to stain it all now. Right, the stain I'm using is Coron, and I use that most of the furniture. Uh, it's for heavy duty work really, but it's just um, something I got left over in the garage. And I'm using it up just to do all the staining. It's all the same colour. It's good stuff. So I'll get on with that now. There we are, all stained, ready to go. And uh, now we're going to start putting it together. I've just got to let them dry for about an hour. Then I'll start to put the outside frame together. If you notice, the darker stain, not darker pieces, are the ones on the outside, so they'll be seen more. And all the dull surfaces will be the ones on the inside. That's why there's two different tones. Just starting to stick it together now. Put the floor now. Put the floor in. Gonna leave that dry now. Takes time now. A bit of the time. Yeah, two sides are on and the shelves. Coming together slowly now. Put the handles on the wardrobe doors and the drawer handles on. Right, I put the silly tape the doors in just to hold them in position so I can fit the top on. Little holes there, little pins on the doors fit into there so it works the old fits into the top of the door and also fits into the top so we can um, put the top on now pins pins for the hinges see they pins yeah they look, that's what they call them do they yeah. so i've got to push that in so that sticks into there that one's in keep it square wipe excessive glue off keeping it square all the while Plastic band on the top just to keep it a bit of pressure on it. Shoot it square again and leave that to leave it to dry now. At least an hour or so. So while that's drying, I'm gonna just build the drawer up. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Stick it together while that's drying. There you go. Put the sides on the door. Put the back on now, and we get the back on. I'll just go around the edges so we can uh, clear all the excess adhesive. There we are, there's a drawer. Put an elastic band around it and just so keep it together for a couple of hours now. So it won't do much more at the moment. Give everything a couple of hours to dry, and we'll put the back on. Back goes on there. And two little fascia boards, top and bottom, and uh, I think we're done then. So I'll give it a rest now for about an hour and a half, so that everything dries. All right, wardrobe's nearly finished. It's all being uh, put together. Going around here, what I've got to do now is just fill in the, the spaces with some wood filler to hide all the little bits of the joints, and then tomorrow. Rub it down and varnish it. Ah, it looks all right. Yeah. Here we go. Well, that's the wardrobe. I'm just putting a nice coat of stain on it. And now I'm going to varnish it. And then we're ready then. So I'll start paint varnishing it, and, um, and it should be finished. I'll get a, I'll put it in place in there where it belongs, and then. I'll come back to you now. There we are. All Joe's finished. It's in the bedroom. Light on. I think the bedroom's nearly enough finished now. Just wants a couple of pictures on the wall. Maybe scattered around. Dressing table up there. Chair in the corner. Mirror and the bed. And that's nearly there now. I put the light on. It looks better with the light on. Like I said, if you like the video, subscribe.